Hey girl, welcome back. Look who we got on the show today. We have Miss Ice Spice. Welcome her to the show. Okay, well, Miss Ice Spice was born by the name of Isis Gaston. So we're going to kind of see what's the energy around this new up and coming rapper, female rapper at that. Now, as soon as she hit the market, honey, they tried to put her against the lotto. It's like they were, it's like, Y'all wrong for that. It's like just because the girl came in with a little curly wig on don't mean that you're going to put her against the next light-skinned girl with, with a curly hair. Because that's Lalo's hair. Now, I don't trust that this is her This is her hair, girl. I, this got to be a little Orphan Annie wig. And so, as soon as I seen her with that little Orphan Annie wig on, I was very concerned. Okay, so I said, let me pull these cards out, honey. And make sure that the youth, the children of the future are safe, okay? And make sure that y'all just didn't let in anybody who's going to come in and lead y'all astray, okay? We need y'all going down the right road, okay? Because Whitney has said that y'all are going to be the, you know, that y'all are the future. I doubt it, Whitney, when she said that, but girl, let's just, let's just keep, let's just stay focused. Let's move past this, okay? So, I'm going to pull some cards on Miss Ice Spice and see what's the energy with her see you know what's you know what can we expect from her but we just want to make sure that she all she good people okay so let's jump straight into it divine angels if you could please give me the best cards from this deck to describe the energy for miss ice spice what do we need to know about ice spice isis gaston okay i just want to know can we trust this little or little, little orphan and weed and y'all act like y'all don't care but I, i'm concerned And then the way she be touching on herself when she just be standing there, it's like, girl, why? What is this? Is this a nervousness or is this your your niche? I need to know. But, girl, you know, but if y'all love her, then that's on y'all. I just want to make sure everything's good. Now, I see some good positive cards here. So, it seems like everything is good, okay? Just from the, from the forecast. It just looks good so far. So, let's see. First, it says she's very ambitious. Okay, look at her. Okay, girl. My bad, sis. Okay, I was just very concerned about the wig, sis. Uh, now, if she can prove that that's her real hair, girl, I'll be I, I'll be impressed and amazed. But, girl, I don't. I can't see it. I can't see it. But, let's, let's move on. So, it seems about education and engagement. So, it seems like either she... Uh, girls, it, has she been to college? Kind of seems like she educated. She, you know, she got a little uh, smarts within her. But it seems like, you know, she was probably a little caged person growing up, which means probably had parents that sheltered her a little bit. Um, but she's very ambitious, and, and you know, she seems like she'd probably be good with marketing. I'm, I'm kind of seeing. But at the same time, you know, she on the internet, honey. She's scrolling through, very engaged. So it seems like y'all like her. But there's balance here. She got to balance out the good and the evil, honey. She got to balance out the shallow sides and the light sides of her. Now, I don't know what those sides are, but it seems like, you know, she can be a little, little feisty. I guess, hence the red hair. But at the same time, you know, it seems like the good may outweigh the bad, you know, at least right now, in this moment, in this moment of time. Okay, let's move on. We got stability here. So it seems this card kind of gives me that she maybe wasn't always stable, you know, as a kid. But, you know, she wants to be stable moving forward. It seems like um, maybe wanting attention from a mother figure or something like that. And probably, you know, didn't get the, the attention that she wanted. So, but at the same time, it seems like she, one of those people that say that she's doing it for her family. You know, she she probably be doing this for her mother, trying to make money for her mother so she can buy her mama a house, honey. But then we got some estrangement, something she's not speaking about, something that she may be grieving, that she may not be telling people. And you can kind of see it in her eyes when you look at her. You know, the eyes, her eyes kind of give me something that she may be hiding or not speaking of, that she's grieving a little bit. Then next we have actions, moving forward. Taking actions, so it seems like she's very ambitious and she um, she knows uh, what to do to kind of move forward. You know, kind of like you know, if let's say she come up with an idea, she gonna jump on that idea and she know how to kind of make it work. Um, it's like she trying to work towards that goal. Then she got wisdom again. Give me, just she's smart. 
you know, but she got a lot of stuff that's going on in her head. Now, some things outweigh, you know, most of the time the good outweigh the bad, but some things that's going on in that head of hers, honey, in that afro, baby, in that little orphan in the afro. It's, a, it's, it's maybe some dark things, and it's so be beautiful thing. She's very creative, okay? We see a little ghost there. We got a sword there, a whale. We got kissing. She thinks she, you know, probably thinking about boys, honey. But then she has some dark thoughts as well. But then sometimes she can be, <laughs> they say she can get lost in her head. You know, she get lost in who she is in her head sometimes because she's so creative. You know, sometimes be out of space. Okay, she'll zone out. So she has to balance that out. Okay, she has to balance out the thoughts and the, the demons, so to say, that's in her head. Okay, but like I said, it seems like right now the good is outweighing the bad. Okay, but there are some thoughts there that she'll have in her head. Then we got treachery here. Now, this looks like management, honey. Not being able to trust, trust management. Does she have a parent that's managed her? managing her right now i see a father I see mother and father now but then it can be you know a female honey this could be a trans honey i don't know who that is girl who that is girl i don't know who that is but anyway um this is a man honey with his hands in his pocket girl uh, we don't know if it's a pocket it's like sir that's not your pocket sir that's something else what are you reaching for i don't trust you Okay, but whoever this is, this causes some conflict, and it's some conflict when it comes to money, trying to be controlling when it comes to money. And so, this gives me either a parent, this gives me management, this gives me whoever um, fronted her. You know how they always trying to front somebody's business deal, and then they say, you know, they own your home. How they end up owning you, your business, uh, for the next 20, 100 years? How is that legal? Baby, but somebody standing on their money hand causing conflict here. And she's not speaking about whatever this is. Whatever this energy is that's creeping up at the end that got her having these dark thoughts that she's trying to face again. And then now that I see her in this cage right here, it's like whoever these people are, did they keep her caged up for their own purposes? Kind of like training her to come out and do what she's doing right now. Okay, because it's starting to get a little dark. It's getting a little dark up in here at the end, okay, with this conflict. Just up in her face and just, like, trying to be the big shot, but you're not. It's like you're standing on money and you're causing so much drama. And she's definitely not speaking about it, but it's causing grief in her life, whatever this is. And right before, it, it's like where her stability lies, there are some people she can't trust. There we go, with family matters. Honey, is she going through the drama like Big Lalo? Because Big Lalo said that her daddy, you know, her daddy one got her in the rap game and then just to turn around and want her money. But of course, what you think those parents want? They want a check too. They, you think they just going to just drop you off and come and support you and it's free? Please. Girl. But we got family matters, okay? Now, this is like coming, look at the family. The family kind of sitting in their little family home. You know, it's like they don't have much, but they have each other. Okay. Whether good or bad, honey, you're still family. You know, toxic family say they family too. Always want to be around. And But there's hope here. So, it seems like that, like again, it seems like she's trying to be the hope for her family. And I don't know if her family pushing her, whoever her family is, pushing her. But it's like. They, it's like some hope here, okay? But it's like, it seems like whoever she is, okay, Isis, she has hope as well. But And that's supporting her, but it's almost like, like they're supporting her for, girl, we'll see, for, for money reasons. Again, look, restrictions. Heavy burdens, honey. All the bills, girl, all the bills do when they, and who bill? Mom and dad, they, these bills are doing your name. But yet, they have, it seems like Isis. Is the one that needs to pay them. Okay, so there's some restriction. Like we, you restricting her. She's restricted, but but yes, yeah, she carrying the heavy burdens. Now, which one is? Is she grown? Or is she a child? Okay, make up your mind. Make up your mind. But again, she's carrying carrying a lot of heavy heavy burdens again. Okay, girl, she needs freedom. She's like a little cage bird. 
Maybe that little afro is um is all afroed out because the baby's dressed. Okay. And she probably touching all over herself because she got anxiety. Baby, my bad sister. My baby's sugar, honey. I just misdiagnosed you, diagnosed you then, girl. Who, probably, who knows? But she wants freedom. That's some freedom that's needed here. And it's like all business, no play. And it's like she kind of looking over at the homeless people, honey. She's like, she kind of admire the homeless people. She admire the homeless man that's sitting on the bench that's free, that can can fly, that can do what they want to do, that can um, lead this cage, okay? Because it seems like, is she one of those little people? Honey, I'm picking up. This one I'm picking up. I'm picking up. She one of those kids that family just put so much on her to be the, you know, the great white hope. Okay, with a red wig on. The great white hope with a wig on to kind of save the family. To kind of save, okay, kind of take them out of this poverty, okay. This this tattered moments, okay. Get grandpa some new pants, okay. She the hope. But in the process of all this, is a lot of conflict that she's not speaking about. The stability is not as stable, okay. She being hung out to dry literally okay and men and but yet they count on her to be their stability you got some male figure here that's management that's somebody that's can't be trusted and in multiple ways not just with money but it seems like whatever he reaches in his none pocket to get i don't trust him but this caused a lot of burdens on her yet she restricted she can't move she can't fly she can't do things okay it's like she's a gilded bird and the only action you get is baby, when you're on the treadmill working out. It's almost like there's maybe some weight issues here with her that that people may be putting out on her. Because I did pick up weight because see how she's looking at this person eating pizza she wish she could. But baby, you've been eating some pizza somewhere, honey, because you're real thick with it. So baby, you've been eating something. You've been eating some cakes some cookies somewhere. Okay, we, we're not going to act like we, you ain't been eating nothing ice spice. Okay, but they just saying uh, if you want to be on stage, baby watch it but then we got charm okay we got to get the hair done girl see they put i knew it they put those little curls up in her head okay they put little rides up in her head i knew it okay a little wig. it may not be a wig it may be her hair but it's rotted hair okay thank you divine because i was so concerned i was so confused okay so yeah that that those curls, her curls, she may have some curls, but they ain't that tight. They ain't that little or or for any like, okay? So, good. I'm glad we got that cleared up, okay? But, yeah, I'm just seeing a lot of her working, no play, okay? But then at the same time, it's like you're a kid, stay in a kid place, but yet you got all the bills that's coming in. It seems like in your name because you got to pay them, honey. And it seems like they may be on her by her weight, Seem like she got a masculine figure here that it, it seems like the the female uh, or the trans, honey, the trans or the uh, or the man is uh the one that's talking about you know this all business, no play, and on her by her weight. And then again, this sign that's on her back is this a female sign, the the ma masculine sign or the transgender sign, girl. Either way, go. Is this a, was this a little boy before? I don't know. Okay. Do anybody ever have proof that you know you you see a new rapper come out? Let's say like Glorilla. They say she's from Memphis. Somebody should have grew up with Glorilla. Is there somebody that uh, grew up with her that can tell us that she she was a little little um, Isom? Okay. A little Adam growing up, and not, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm just saying I'm just. just I'm picking up in the reading, y'all. Don't get offended. And you say everybody want equal rights, so shoot, I should be able to equally ask. Okay, but again, there's some conflict here. Okay, like that could be, you know, keeping her stressed out a little bit, all in her head. Okay, uh, it's like she needs to wash these people up out of her hair, whoever they are. Okay, she probably had to do like Lotto and let go of some family members. Um, but there is some family member that may be here that, that does have some hope for her. That she have hope that she can still, you know, work things out with them. Or hope that things can work out. Um, but it's like, girl, you're not going to be able to fly 
as long as you're holding on to this rock. It's not like everybody else around you is flying, but not you. And, and at the end of the day, you're not speaking about it. They said as long as you're getting your hair and makeup done, you should be happy. Okay, you're getting your hair curled, you're getting your hair straightened, and you're getting your red color in your hair. Because I know your hair is not that red, but you're getting your red dye. You know, you, you go into the hair salon, and they're probably telling you, you know, just like they tell everybody else, honey, those clothes are not cheap, okay? That, you know, that's that's how you're getting paid, getting your clothes and getting your hair done. And you ain't saying nothing about it, girl, because you're probably used to it, you know, because y'all probably didn't come from much. But, let's see, girl. It seems like family is stressing. Family or management, honey. Whoever these, these people are that's around her. You know, concerned about her weight. Concerned about how she look. Okay, because then again, this giving weight again. Look at her. The action. Working out. Cussing on the treadmill. But she be craving some pizza. She be craving food. Can't get it, girl. Not this time. So, let's see. Give me more about these restrictions here for Ice Spice. Why are there restrictions? Okay. The restrictions that I see here are... Oh, we got restrictions when it comes to courtship. Okay. Now, courtship is, of course, dating. Something that's... Um, it could also be an event, okay, that happened that's at the beginning stage. It can be the beginning stage of dating, beginning stage of a career, beginning stage of anything that involves either meeting in a courtyard, court, or, you know, this could be like a date in the park. Okay, we got great fortunes here. Okay, it's like, honey, we want to have a long lineage. We want to have a legacy. But it's like this girl is too young to be thinking about a legacy. So this got to do something with uh, somebody she's dating. I don't know. Dating, money, honey. But they false, can't be trusted. Fall right here on this treachery card that we saw earlier. Honey, always thinking of ways, thinking of her. Now, you could be thinking of her in a positive way, but then you could be thinking of ways to make money with her. Okay, so let's find out more about this courtship. Watch this courtship here for Ice Spice. This is somebody she's dating. Okay, because she looks like a little baby. It's like, who want to date this baby? We got receipts, honey. What's going on with this courtship? Okay, one or two more. Oh, somebody being put on blast, baby. Okay. And we got receipts, period. Okay. We got some receipts, honey. Somebody needing some type of answers. Now, this is clarifying the courtship card here. We want to know why is it here for Ice Spice and what are the restrictions here that she's having. And there's some restrictions in her either career or life because of court, somebody she's dating or a court issue. But there's some receipts here. Needing answers. Not believing what you told, honey. There's some evidence. There's proof. But somebody's doubtful. That's why we need to pr provide the receipts. So, oh, okay. Then we got staycation. A stay, a vacation spent at home. Enjoying local attraction. A mini budget. A mini a vacation. Or on a budget. Uh -oh. Some restrictions when it comes to money. Honey, somebody... I just I just heard pimping somebody taking money and restricting her on her on what she gets just giving her clothes and hair then send her to a room but then she paid all the bills it's like what huh we got Netflix and chill a romantic chill day at home honey you ain't going nowhere you ain't spending no extra money go get you a red box and we'll send it on back to the house but they say it's it's some a sexual chemistry a bait and switch okay you thought you was coming to watch a movie but then once the movie started within five minutes some things have changed hmm i wonder what but there was a bait and switch it speaks about some type of sexual activity and dating so this courtship card is definitely about somebody that's dating here and they've been put on blast 
being publicly embarrassed, personal business being exposed, exposing somebody's secret and being called out. Uh oh. Now who done got called out concerning Miss Ice Spice? Concerning some type of activity, honey. They probably came to somebody's house, met up, and then didn't spend no money, honey. It was on the budget. It's like being cheap. It's like, huh? We making hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars and baby, we, we can't go nowhere. Okay. But we got some 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 type of I I think after whatever happened, somebody probably spoke on it and then it's like, nah, nah, that never happened. It's like it absolutely did happen. It's like how can some people look you in the eye and, and lie? But some other personal business being put on blast and they like they didn't appreciate it. Okay, it's not appreciated. So, let's see what's going on with this false person. Give me more about this false person that she's making money with or getting money with. And what is this person doing? Okay. Okay. Well, this is a false person because we got somebody that's bouncing. Okay. Somebody that left the situation or the person. It's time to leave it all behind. Okay. Because this person is very false. Somebody that's not... Somebody's not showing their true self. Now, look at this woman. This woman has red hair. That could be ice. And then we got a man back there. Okay, y'all know him? Well, somebody leaving the situation. It's time to leave it all behind. And they leaving fast, baby. They ain't, it ain't no slow leave. It's a, it's a straight out bounce probably in the middle of the night without you knowing it. It's almost like a ghosting. And they wrapping it up, baby. It's been wrapped up tonight. Okay. Don't even call me. Ask, a, ask about a follow-up, baby. It's, it's all been wrapped up. Okay. You just don't know it. Because somebody is texting. It says, think about it carefully before you respond in a casual interaction. You're expecting a message. There's some type of detachment. But the, yet there's communication. Girl, it sounds like dating. Dating in 2020, uh, to 2023. Okay, it's like you don't know what you is, what it ain't. A situation ship, everything is a situation ship, and I just put everybody on block if that's the case. But it's it's giving me that somebody is playing somebody, somebody is gaslighting somebody, and they thinking they won. It's like well played, completing a task. It's like a task been completed, honey. It's like I got her on the track. Okay, way to go. Nice job. Clever. Well done. Great move. It's like he bounced. He said he or she feel like they bounced out of this situation successfully because they caught somebody texting, doing something, they got no business because they did something one night that they supposed to have showed up but did not show up. Okay. It seems like somebody gonna, like ISIS. Ice is either going to put somebody on blast or somebody going to put her on blast. For having a one night stand. Text message is going to be exposed. Somebody's going to be embarrassed or in trouble, honey. Okay. Let's get more about the thoughts. What's going on with these thoughts? So the restrictions is seem like she can't she ain't speaking about whoever she's dating. Okay, now, I don't know if she's dating somebody that's managing her. Somebody that she calling, thinking it's, you know, they've been there since the beginning, like almost like family. I don't know, I think there's two separate things, okay? I think her personal life is bleeding into her business life. But we got no justice, no peace, honey. Whoever, whatever's going on right now, she is not, she woke to it, but it's like finding out that your mama betrayed you. It's like, that's a hard pill to swallow so it's like being socially and politically awoke well-informed true reality awareness wake up self-awareness about a glow up a major transformation doing the work to be better a makeover a change in her appearance and because she feel like she was being finesse getting something in a slick way smoothing things out stealing buttering up persuading and charming yeah somebody trying to finesse this baby honey but I just feel like that's the type of business that you enter when you go into rap. Okay, you're gonna have old shiesty old manager, honey, in your face. Okay, 
throwing up money, throwing up everything, okay? All type of activities, okay? Including ones that, um, include Netflix and chilling. It's like you're baiting and switching. You're telling me one thing. You're promising me one thing, okay? You, I thought you was reaching in your pocket, getting your wallet. You were reaching in and getting something else. It's like, it's, it's drama, okay? And it seems like she woke to it, but at the same time, she's not speaking about it. So, because she's still hoping that things will be right, that, you know, that I guess they'll become family. You know, she's hoping for this, hoping in love. But, baby, um, the way things going, it's like it's either a cycle of this going on in your life or this person got you. It's like this person, I almost want to say groomed you to be like this or almost like a pimp grooms his, his workers. Okay. Like a, you know, look at this, you know, it just give you creepy vibes, whoever this person is, this person finessing the system, but then at the same time, have her with so many restrictions in her life. It's almost like she it, out here working, but yet she in this type of cage environment, like she's not free. And the card did say she wanted to be free, that she needed freedom. But there's some restrictions here, okay? Because there's somebody there that's with this it clown makeup on, honey, finessing the system, getting something in a very slick way. But then they try to smooth it out, and then they steal from you. Then they bother you up again, okay? All And then they're trying to charm you. They take you to go get your hair done, go buy you something nice. But all this is going to be put on blast, whatever this is, okay? Whoever this is, okay? Gonna be put on blast, and um, I can't wait to see it. So that's gonna conclude the reading for Miss Ice Spice, Miss Ice's guest, and honey. Now it seems like it's safe for y'all to listen to her, but honey, is she safe? That's what we want to know. Is she good? Okay, because I don't think a woman is safe in this rap environment. Period. And from the look of things, honey, she done ran across somebody shysty and shady. Uh, and he say he family, he say he daddy, he say he this, but the whole time he just, the it clown, he finessing the whole situation. Well, that's going to conclude the reading for Miss Ice Spice, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next reading. I'll talk to you later, girl. Bye.